It's time for a proper bathroom for me, as I've been living with my compost toilet and outdoor shower for a long time. Let me show you the bathroom. Well, bathroom is a little bit exaggerated. This is a toilet that used to work just with a water bucket until it didn't work anymore and all the water came out of the sides. Gross. So they must have built a small septic somewhere, but obviously it was not made for permanent use. Since then I've been going back to my little compost toilet. So they did have some kind of water system in here. There are pipes going everywhere. They had a little sink here. And then this drainage pipe comes out of here. So this is the basement room under the room that I renovated. We decided to put a bathroom down here. So I'm gonna start to clean this room up now. And I have a guest coming. Dave, with whom I did the roof, is coming for a week. Super excited to start this new build with him. So I have a beautiful apple tree that I want to plant now, or we. I'm just deciding where to put it. This tree is going to be the start of the garden terrace. Are you convinced on this location now? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that makes all of it. Yeah. All right, compost. Dave dug this hole in no time at all. Really nice soil. Nicely protected against deer. So this is the state of affairs. This wine rack has to go in this beautiful treasure box. We're gonna move it out. And then just put it down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was really heavy. Unfortunately, it has a wood worm. Even the top is so heavy. Outside looks so old and the inside doesn't. going to start to take out this floor which is beautiful but not level at all and moisture can rise up through the floor. Now we need a pathway here to get the rubble out of the way. I think it's for the pizza. Oh, okay, for the pizza oven, yeah, yeah. It was just here. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, he's a big boy. <laughs> oh, beautiful stone. Edge on. So this is where the new slate storage is evolving. That's the 
biggest one yet. Easy, easy. But how can we move it? The first really hard workout of the year. Workout time day. We are building a pile of rubble over here. We're back in the mine. Soft entrance now. After this day, how are we feeling? <laughs> Tired. <laughs> I ache. Really, really bad bedrock. But it splits, so it's going. Good morning, dark cellar. This was a tough day yesterday. We're hoping that there's less bedrock coming over to that side. Luckily, a blue sky, so we can put on the jackhammer. Yay! My body is aching. I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah. Wow! It's so cute! Look at the view! Alright. Talk anymore. <laughs> it didn't even make sense what I said. <laughs> That's when you know you've had a hard day's work. <laughs> when, when talking becomes hard. Right? <laughs> yeah. Feels like an endless task. Thing. How thick is it? Thick. I think that would look nice as a step, just there. Yeah, why not? Let's put it as a step somewhere here. Sorry, you got the heavy in there. Right, put the back in first. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I just didn't know you were dropping it. <laughs> Cool. I'll bed in over time, isn't it? Brilliant idea. Is it a thick boy? Yeah. One, two, three.
but we did half of the floor. Let's have a nice nap and lunch. Maybe. Slept for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> So since we're redoing the floor, we need to get this battery off the floor. And the idea was to hang it up there. A piece of wall just moved because we took the stone out underneath. Tiny piece of wall though. Uh, Alright. Because right. we can cable tie the front string to the hooks. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> Hanging battery. Yeah. Guys, what do you think of this? <laughs> Brilliant solution. The last big floor tile will slap. That's my foot! Oh. <laughs> stuck with a stone. <laughs> now we can take out the rest of the floor finally. I can't believe we did that. Was it my idea to do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. How far we went down. That and it was all rock all here. Rock today, wasn't it? I will now show you the mud pile we created. Yeah. Oh, first there is some mud to take out. Perfect. Estimately, we took out seven and a half cubic meters. I didn't think it would be so much in there. <laughs> all created by hand definitely will help to build up this area so we took this sill out the big step stone and then overnight this crack appeared oh, oh, oh. so scary but these houses are just built out of mud and rocks so they are very fragile try and push it back yeah i hope it moves at all Did you see the wall just moving? Is that looking? Better, definitely. Cool. Now we can work. Okay, so I tried to find a less deep one, right? Yeah. That looks pretty neat. 
That yeah. was pretty good. That'd be good because it'd give you enough room to get some behind it, wouldn't it? The one I did still might be a bit too big. Oh, it's perfect. You, it's done! They are so big. Finally, some good food. <laughs> Yay! Our treat after all of this hard work. Dave just left and I'm all by myself again. Gotta get some sleep now, it was a busy week. Thank you so much, Dave. We got a ton of work done. <laughs> so today, two masons, Ishmael and Angelo, are going to help me to level this floor and make it even a bit more deep. The wall is looking pretty good now. Very stable again. That was really not fun when that wall came out. Let's see if this blade cuts something. I cut metal with it, that's why. <laughs> wow, when you look at that pile there, it's just amazing, isn't it? We managed to finish the whole floor. We went down a lot. It's like 50 centimeters down now. Sometimes the before looks better than the after, but this for sure will change over time. 